guys welcome back to my channel I am so happy that you found your way here today I'm doing another makeup video so I was trying to go for that 90s look I feel that I kind of achieved the Instagram baddie look I don't know but I think it's kind of cute and I got the two little buns up top so I'm just gonna call this a 90s look uh, if you are interested in seeing how I achieved this look, keep on watching. If you like these type of videos, don't forget to thumbs up and uh, comment and of course subscribe to my channel. Well, I think we should go straight into this video and I'll see you in my next video. So I'm starting off with my base which is Maybelline Fit Me color 355 in coconut. And I recently learned that uh, you don't necessarily have to have a lot of foundation on your face for it to be covering. Uh, I've never really been a big foundation user, but um, now I use even less. Just dot that out in my entire face and kind of cream it in like lotion. So I just drag down because I don't want to pull it upwards because you have tiny, tiny hairs on your hair. So just follow the hairs which go grow downwards and just do light hands and blend, blend, blend the jawline. And I really use, like using um, a little like this because First of all, you're saving product. Second of all, you don't get those lines after a couple of hours that you get when you have really thick layer of foundation. And yeah, I think it looks better like this. Even if you have like uh, blemishes and stuff, just put some concealer on them and then this thin layer of um, foundation. Personally, I like that look. And also 90s look was supposed to be kind of clean, uh, matte, so. I don't want to use too much. Moving on to my brows. 90s brows um, were pretty plucked. So, and I don't really have a lot of brows. So I'm not going to make shape them really thick or anything like that. But I'm just going to follow my shape and, uh, you know, try to get that thin, dark look that they had back in the day. To mark my brows, I'm going to use uh, this LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color um, Toffee. But I'm not going to do all around my brows because back in the day, I don't think they had as marked brows that we do right now. But I'm just going to do it underneath. And I'm kind of... I'm using a little bit of this color but also from the other uh, foundation color. So it's not really highlighted but more so my color. I'm just cleaning it up. Now to my eyelids, I am going to do a very like subtle cut crease. So I'm using this dark brown pencil uh, to create the cut crease. Now that I have the lines of my cut crease, I am going to take um, I'm going to take uh, this dark kind of brownish color for my Tarte palette called Leader and I'm just gonna kind of make it a little bit smoky. Just apply that here. Honestly, I think this one was too skinny. Let me take this one. That's a lot better. I kind of just smudge it out like that. Now I'm going to take uh, 
this NYX Jumbo pencil uh, as my base for the lids. So for my lids, I'm taking this color, which is in the Sun Kissed palette from Primark, surprisingly enough. So I'm taking that color all over my lid. Next, to warm up my eyes a little bit, I'm going to take this sleek blush from... Uh, um, yeah, from Sleek called Sahara. And just putting that just a little bit above my crease. And uh, blend, blend, blend. So I'm going in again with this one called the Leader from the Tarte palette. And going in on the crease with that one. Next, I'm going on in with this light color in the um, on the brow bone under the brow bone. Actually, this may might be a little bit too shimmery for a 19s look, but I'm going there. Now I'm going in with some eyeliner to give me. A little bit of shape to the eye. I find it easier to start in the middle and then go out. Okay, I did not mean it for it to be this thick. That just happened and oh well, I'll have to work with it. So, lashes applied, eyeliner applied. Now, I'm just going to take some mascara and try to just connect the lashes with uh, the fake lashes, my lashes to the fake lashes. Now, it's time to highlight. But I first go with the, in with the finger and then later I'll just clean everything out, all the lines with um, a sponge. And when it comes to the LA Girl concealers, you kind of have to work a little bit quickly because they do dry. Okay, I look a little bit ashy and I'm gonna look even more ashy because I'm gonna bake a little bit with Sasha Buttercup Cosmetic Setting Powder. So, yes, let's do this. While this is baking for a short while, I'm also going to warm up my face at the same time. Um, so I'm multitasking here. And I'm gonna use uh, my Nuba. I don't exactly know the color. Oh my God, it just fell out. <laughs> I'm going to use this Nuba color in, I'm gonna link it in the description box because I'm not really sure since it's smudged off uh, the label. But yeah. Okay, so now I am going to just brush off the excess powder from my face. I'm going to do a little bit of contouring with my finger and I'm going in with the same Nuba color. Blend it all up. It 
time for blush and during the 90s they didn't really have super strong blushes so i'm using this sahara um blush from sleek I'm going to line my eyes with some black eyeliner just to uh, define my eyes a little bit more. I'm trying to connect the bottom line with the upper line. I'm also going back into this Primark palette and uh, using the same lid color, bronzy lid color that I used and kind of uh, putting it underneath my eyes. I'm also going to add some mascara to my bottom lashes. In the 90s, I feel that they used like maybe a little bit of glitter, but not highlighted the way we do it these days. So I'm going to take this kind of um, mineralizing blush, which is, which is really shimmery uh, and kind of highlighter ash highlight highlighter ish but it's um pink it's more of a blush so i'm gonna just put it on my cheeks and now just some max uh prep and prime fix spray Now, the final and most important part, lippy time. So I'm taking Colourpop in the color Lindell and I'm just gonna line my lips with it. And then I'm taking this dark brown lip pencil um, and just putting that on the very outer line. And then I'm going to take the um, Colourpop Satin in color Mess Around and I'm putting that in the middle. I think I'm going to go back in with the Limbo color. And I'm all done, guys. I would like to get to know if I could be The kind of girl that you could be down for Cause when I look at you, I feel something tell me That you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on And I 